Now to a new push in a death investigation. Two families want that investigation moved from the Bear County Sheriff to the state of Texas. That case involves the death of two daughters and their mother in the affluent subdivision of Anaqua Springs, south of Bernie. This investigation ban began in January of 2019, days after the medical examiner ruled the case a double murder suicide. But the sheriff's office said further investigation was needed. Then in 2021, the sheriff announced the case was being reassigned to the cold case unit and deemed the investigation incomplete. As Erica Hernandez reports, family members want the state to step in now. Because he has inflicted more pain on this family than anyone else other than whoever it was who killed their daughters. The lawyers for the VBS Gus and Montes families are saying enough and wanting answers. Something they say Sheriff Javier Salazar promised them years ago after a further investigation was called for the 2019 deaths of 10-year-old London Bribiescas, 16-year-old Alexa Montes, and their mother, Nicole Olson. The three were found dead in their Anaqua Springs home. The medical examiner ruled the case a murder-suicide, but the sheriff directed investigators to further look into the case. But London's aunt, Emma Sumners, says they haven't heard anything from the sheriff since 2020. I don't think we've ever been able to just call him up and talk to him. It's always been we've had to go through the media and create a storm in order to get his attention. Sumner wrote a letter to Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton asking the Texas Rangers to investigate this case and also Sheriff Javier Salazar's handling of it. And I think that it would be very honorable of him to step up and say, hey, you know, yes, we screwed up, but I just don't think he's the kind of person to do that. I think he's just going to try to keep everything covered up and try to keep making himself look good. The sheriff declined an interview today, but in a statement said, quote, we have not seen the letter submitted by the Briviescas family to the attorney general's office. This case remains ongoing with the Bear County Sheriff's Office. Additionally, there are pending items the investigator assigned to this case had had difficulty obtaining through attempts with the retained attorney, including difficulty making contact with Mr. Holscher. No specific items were requested from us. So we did follow up with the sheriff's office about Mr. Holscher's remarks, as well as other accusations, and we have not heard back from them. We also made a second request for toxicology and autopsy results for the mother, Nicole Olson, since they were denied to us years ago because the investigation was still pending. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.